Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. It's not coming down quite far enough. Okay, um, we are working on page six and seven, page six and seven of, um, I'm drawing a blank, Stamperia Cosmos Infinity. So we're gonna start with a six, six by eight inch, six inches across, eight inches down. You're going to score half inch on the six inch side. It's going to get installed on, I'm going to move the book. Uh, I was kind of doing some layout while it was in the book. And I'm going to do both pages at the same time because they are the same. Uh, it's going to get installed on the left hand side of page six. And we're almost done with this book. So again, Nice. Did I say six and a half? Six by eight. Six by eight. I forgot I trimmed this down a little bit. I wanted to make it smaller. So it's six by eight, and then you're going to score a half inch on the six inch side. And you'll have a five and a half by eight inch finished panel. Okay. So again, that is six by eight, score half inch on the six inch side. And then we're going to install centered on the right hand side a five and a half by seven. Five and a half by seven. You're going to score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. You'll have a finished five by seven. It's going to get centered. So let me get my um, Tim Holtz ruler out. We'll do uh, find our center here real quick. Put a little tip mark on there and one on the panel. Okay, so I'm just going to line those two dots up. Oops, stuck on my magnet. Like so. Okay, doesn't look quite right. Let's see, four. It's off a little bit, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. It should have gone up a little bit, so I somehow messed my dots up. Okay, so we're gonna put a magnet here to keep it closed before we start decorating. So now we're going to do the same thing on page seven. Six by eight, six by eight, score half inch on the six inch side. And then I know I'm off slightly, so I'm just going to uh, line it up to page six. So I'll just put my corner right where I marked it. Oops. Pick tool. OK, 
Okay, we'll do the same thing, add my magnets. I'm gonna start decorating. And I think, uh, I think most of it's, some of it's trimmed and ready to go and other pieces I think I have to trim a little. do have to trim them down. I changed, um, I'd originally had this panel at six and a half instead of six, and so these do need to be trimmed down. So let me think about that. I still need a base too. Okay, let's see, do I need to trim these down too? Oh, this looks a little bit, okay. This should be uh, five by seven. There's the front and the back. And five by seven front. And back. Okay, this does need to be trimmed down a little bit, so I'm gonna do that. jiggling all about, which is what my trimmer is on. Okay, that looks good. Looking for my ink. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to trim, uh, this is one continuous pattern, so I'm going to trim on the outside here, 
so that when you look at the pattern across the two pages, it'll be a continuous pattern. Can I see what I marked? That's funny, I can't see it. There it is. Okay, so it was the right height, just needed to uh, make it a little bit more narrow. remember which piece I had used. I think these two go together. Yeah. Let's see. This is going to go here. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. This is also from the 12 by 12 collection. And this is from the 12 by 12 collection. This, I'm not sure if it's 12 by 12 or eight by eight. The scale looks kind of small, so I'm assuming it's from the eight by eight. Uh, everything else for this page and the next page is coming from the 12 by 12 pieces. down a little bit. This one's not as bad. You can see there's lots of flip-flopping going on because the patterns are just not that distinctly different from one another. So I find myself shuffling, up, shuffling things about. Um, oops, forgot the ink. Because usually it's very obvious to me which sides I'm going to put down. So not a lot of variation in the patterns, which um, the, the plus side or the pro to that is it's a very um, cohesive album, you know, from, from start to finish. Um, it just flows from one page to the next, to the next, to the next. You don't have to focus so much on making each two, each two page layout work together because the whole book does. So that's, um, that's one of the upsides to having your, such consistent uh, colors, limited colors, consistent patterns, uh, and themes like this. Um, so you've got lots of the sky theme and then you've got this little bit of the wooded theme and that's that's it you know for the the rest of the collection it's those really those two elements so now this is going to go here and I'm going to color block it so I'm trying to decide I think I, the plan was to use this here to color block but it's not big enough is it oh no it's not. So I'll have to find another piece that's a little bit wider. Um, and I do think that's what I'm going to do is color block so that these this looks like a continuation. And then this guy will be on the inside. So let me see what I did here. Did I, did I trim that down to five and a half? Did I trim this one? I did. Okay. So it looks like what I need for this strip here, this is two. So it looks like I need two 
two and three eighths. So I'm looking for two and a half to start with, and we'll trim it down to fit. But let's go ahead and add this in because we know this is where it's going to go. And I may trim it down just a little bit more because I do, when this is closed, I don't want it sticking out. So I think I am going to take a little bit more off. Actually, no, I'll leave it as is. So part of the reason I'm doing this color block, ideally I'd have a full full uh, pattern here, but I'm out of uh, scrap pieces that are eight by eight. So I'm, I'm having to do some color blocking to fill the, the, the last two pages of the album. And even though these you know, seven and eight would be the last two. I'm building out a sequence, so these are actually the last two pages that I'm building, six and seven. Okay, so that's that. So let's go ahead and put this one together. So as you can see, this is the second half of that print. It's going to go here. Trim it down. I'm going to trim off this side so we still have that um, continuous print across the two pages. I think the reason I changed this panel size to, to a five and a half was I was having some issues having enough paper uh, to go around. So I think that's one of the reasons why I've done that. Sorry about my dog. Somebody must be at the door. I'll try to uh, cut out much of that back, as much of the background as I can. Just part of uh, life with the dog. Yeah, with my husband. She gets so excited. What do you guys think about this album? Love to hear your thoughts. Very excited about the new collections that are coming out um, with both Stamperit and Graphic. Uh, if you haven't seen the reveal, check it out. Um, they're not too long. Both companies uh, just released two new collections. So the Hello Pumpkin has been very popular from Graphic 45. If it's not in stock when you guys check out the store, um, click the notification and we'll let you know when we have it back in, in stock because we are definitely going to have it back in stock. Okay, and this is the same thing. I'm going to put it over to this side. And then it's just going to peek out. And then we'll add that two and a quarter, two and a half inch strip there.
notes there. They're going to show through the color block. Okay. Got the wolf howling at the moon. Okay, let's see what we can do about finding these strips. I do like this background, so I'm going to look for something very similar. Oh, look here. This is one of two 12 by 12s that are left. Um, this is the other one. So I've gone through all the 8 by 8s, all the 12 by 12s, except for these two. And I have a couple of the um, collection packs. Hmm. That would work too. Uh, collector, what do they? Collectibles. So that's an option. I don't want that actually. So let's see how that looks when I close the panel, right? Because that's what we really care about is what does it look like. So that's option one, option two. Do I want the two first bed strips again? What do I do with them? What do you guys think? that or this. I kind of like the duck. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, and the reason I like it is because it kind of breaks these two up. So I'm going to use let me see if I've got a smaller piece. Oh, I lied. I have one eight by eight left.
Let's see if this is wide enough. I think it's going to be a four inch, which is just a little too shy. Of what I need. Yeah. So what did I say I needed? I'm going to look for two and a half. So that's too small, so I am going to go back to this, and I'm going to cut it out of here. So. Start with two and a half, and then I'll trim it to fit. Okay, there we go. So it actually wound up being two and three eighths once I factored in the borders. Oh, now I know why I wasn't cutting this. Is because I really like these circles in the back, but I don't know what I could do with them. So. Lovely. Okay, we'll do the same thing over here. Seem right. Let me double check. Huh. This one wound up being two and a quarter. Quite a quite a bit different. Yeah, it's marked right. Okay. Quite a bit, meaning an eighth. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm scaring myself. I'm going to do two and three eighths and then just check it again. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be smaller. Better to measure two or three times and cut once, right? In this case, I'm cutting twice, but the good news is I don't have to glue anything together. Mm, that's not right. Okay, my first mark was right.
Here we go. Page six and seven. Okay, next time we get together, we'll be doing a walkthrough. See you soon.